why you're not gonna look at this right here anymore and be tempted at all whatsoever when you're retaining your seed out here. Stay tuned to the end of this one, man. You don't wanna miss it. Justice League family. What's going on with y'all, man? King Justice back in the building. Back with another video. Back with some more truth. Back with some more knowledge. Back with some more facts for y'all. Family, I appreciate you guys showing me love and support. I cannot thank you enough. Keep smashing that like video, that like button down below on each and every one of my videos. It's getting the messages out to the people who need to hear it. We need to spread this as much as we can all across every social media platform. Why? Because I'm spreading God's word. I'm spreading the truth, the real truth. The stuff that most people are afraid to speak about or some people just don't know about. So smash that like button, share it on all platforms. For all my new subscribers, if you're new to the channel, I go by King Justice, man. I'm a Christian artist. I'm a motivational speaker. I teach as I learn and I'm here to help you, help you along your journey with my experiences and what I've learned over the years of walking this walk with Christ, man. On this side, we all about truth, positivity, motivation, elevation, knowledge, wisdom, insight, growth, getting better every single day. And when I say this stuff, I mean it. And first and foremost, the most high God, man. So smash that like button down below. Hit subscribe if you ain't subscribed yet. I appreciate all the love and support. Today's message and video, man. Why you're not gonna look at her the same way you used to look at her and why other men are looking at her and falling for the trap when you're on no fab and secret retention eyes locked on the road you know how it goes but i'm with y'all the whole way check this out man we're gonna get straight into it i'm this is gonna be raw truth King Justice, full full effect. I ain't got nothing written down today. You're just going to get it off the top. I'm going to let the Holy Spirit speak through me. I'm a willing vessel for the Lord, man. I walk in obedience. I walk as righteously as I can, so I'm going to allow him to speak through me in regards to this topic. This video, I'm going to do my best to educate, speak facts, speak truth without um, bashing women in general. I'm going to just leave this disclaimer right here. This, this video, if you're a woman and you're coming across this and you serve the Most High and you follow Jesus and you follow God, this video is not regarding you. This is regarding the modern women. Why semen retention will give you a new outlook, not only on life in general, but on women, on even men too, right? So there's levels to this stuff, man. You know how they say there's levels in life, right? Oh, there's different levels, new new levels, new devils. There's really facts out here. When you first go on your semen retention journey, your NoFab journey, your self-improvement journey, when you first come into knowing Christ, and when you first pick up your Bible for the first time, when you first pray for the first time, whatever the case may be, you're not gonna just get everything right off the rip. That's not how this works, right? It takes time, it takes repetition, it takes, you know, um, work, putting in the work so there's levels to this stuff man the first thing you're going to receive when you start no fat and semen retention is an energy boost right we just call it like like it is you're going to get an energy boost your energy is going to increase all that energy you was giving away all that seed that you was wasting not um procreating not doing it to have children with a family you know and a wife um it's going to turn into energy now if you're doing this for the right reasons which is for the most high god and living according to his word you know the second thing or the first thing that could happen would be you receiving the gift of the holy ghost the holy spirit right you have to unlock this stuff it's just like a video game out here i know there's a lot of people that watch me that probably play video games and stuff i ain't knocking nobody that does i just personally don't i used to when i was a kid i used to love playing you know Madden and all the sports games and stuff like that but you know when you are on let's say 2k or Madden or whatever you gotta when you first put the game in um you don't just have everything like you don't have you know I don't know what it comes with nowadays the jerseys and all the you know I don't know shoes and everything else you don't have all the um glitz and glam that everybody else had you don't have all the uh, abilities either right 
We may not have the dunk power that someone else has, whatever it is. It's the same thing with no fat and semen retention, man. You got to level up in this stuff, right? And it's not even about, um, oh, at this day, um, when you're retaining, you receive this gift. No, it don't work like that. Everyone's different. Everyone's walk is different. Everyone's relationship with Christ is different. Um, some things, you know, click for others when, you know, faster. And some things click for others slower. Some people got to learn the easy way. Some people got to learn the hard way. Right? So there's no, oh, well, when I hit the 30-day mark, I'm going to unlock the Holy Spirit. No, that's not how it works, man. You know, you got to you gotta understand is once you get the gift of the Holy Spirit, that's when everything changes. That's when you begin to put lust in its place. You, be, you begin to put lust in check. You begin to really, like, start just annihilating lust. Meaning, like, you know how you used to battle with lust? You have you you have to fight and sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, sometimes you relapse, sometimes you don't relapse. No, like when you get the Holy Spirit, man, and you truly, truly start like tapping in and really getting wisdom and knowledge and understanding of God's word, and you start really reaping what you sow. Because if you sow into your spirit, you're gonna reap it, right? You're gonna reap the benefits of that. You're gonna start putting lust in its place, man. Lust ain't even gonna be a matchup for you when you get to a certain level. In this walk You are going to put God before everything You do not want to disappoint God So anytime lust comes up you, You're thinking of your father Why? Because you meditate on the scriptures Why? Because you read your word every night Why? Because you pray throughout the day Why? Because you fast Why? Because you're sowing into your spirit And not into your flesh Right? So these are the benefits you start receiving Another one is Your outlook on women So the women that are online The social media women who you know what I'm saying? They they shake their, you know what I'm saying, on the camera, and they out here and they wearing as minimal clothes as they can, and they out here and you know most men are gonna be drooling over them, throwing money at them, doing everything they can just to get a piece of that. You are gonna see straight through that when you're on no fat. Just cause somebody looks good on the outside don't mean they look good on the inside. Right, and when, when it comes to walking with Christ, when it comes to self-improvement, man, the inside is what matters the most. You gotta change the inside before the outside changes. So when most times when modern women are out here doing this stuff, it's it's to seek attention. They're missing something. I guarantee you they're missing something in their life. They have a broken place within them, in their heart, in their soul, whatever the case may be, and they're compensating by using their own body to gain attention, to gain money, to gain um, power, to gain control, whatever the case may be. Now, when you're on semen retention, you know this. Like, it's, it's not just, oh, maybe this is true. No, like, it's a fact. What I'm speaking right now is a fact. Most women that are, that are out here doing this stuff is for those reasons. And they're broken. They're not healed inside. And you're going to see right through that. You're going to see that same woman that another man is drooling over. And it's like, man, I would do anything just to be with her for a night, blah, 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 whatever the case may be. And you're going to look at it like, she ain't even all that, bro. Like, you know how broken she is? You know what kind of demons she's carrying in her? You know what kind of healing she needs? You feel what I'm saying? So you start looking deeper than the surface. Right? You start looking for things that God has instructed you to look for in a woman, which is what? The fruits of the spirit. A Proverbs 31 woman. A woman who carries herself modestly. A woman who will submit. A woman who's meek. A woman who is giving. A woman who wants to be led most of these modern women out here they don't want to hear nothing from nobody they got big mouths big everything right and like i said i ain't trying to bash women in general but the modern woman most modern women are full of brokenness which has caused demonic strongholds which causes them to act a certain way think a certain way and serve somebody that is not the most high god so your outlook changes. I can see a modern woman today out in public, wherever the case may be, wearing yoga pants, whatever it is, and I'm not even looking at that carnally. I'm discerning it. I'm not even looking at the attributes, you know, the booty, the boobs, the lips, the this, the hair, the that. No. I'm trying to understand why is she doing this? What's she wearing? She's probably wearing this because of this. And I, I know that sounds judgmental, but that's how you, you got to move out here if you want to keep your house clean, the will of God, and your life on the right track. Because you can be deceived by looks. Don't be, don't, 
to not be deceived by looks out here, man. It's about the inside. You know, and that's always been a thing. Well, it's not about the outside. It's about the inside. But that's a real fact. You want a woman who's healed. You want a woman who carries herself um, appropriately for the Most High God, first and foremost. And then for whoever, you know, she's with, her husband or her boyfriend. You know, you start looking... It's a full 360. Most men are looking for the yoga pants. Most men are looking for the crop top. Most men are looking for the biggest, you know, breast and the biggest um, ass. Excuse my language. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the first thing they're looking for. They ain't looking for nothing more than that because they're okay with, you know, creating a soul tie. Um, you know, they're, they, they're lacking knowledge possibly or they, you know, maybe they know God and they know the most high and they've given up their walk. You know, and they turn back to their old ways you know the bible says um i forget exactly how the scripture goes but it talks about a man returning to his vomit when you know when god calls you out right and you become chosen right that's the first step chosen and then you go on a self-improvement journey you start reading the word you get gifts of the spirit fruits of the spirit you start leveling up you start to become worth more as a man so anybody that's low worth Right, somebody that's entertaining like low vibrational stuff, such as like drinking and smoking, and um, you know, not knowing how to do anything in life but shake your ass and have your stuff showing and be a loud mouth and think you're funny. You know what I'm saying? That stuff is not gonna, you're not gonna even see that the way another man would who's not high value. Now, semen retention and self improving increases your value in life, right. And we're not here to people please. We're not here to do any of that. But it's just a fact. Your value starts to go up. You start to really truly become a man. Not a beta male. Not someone that's um gonna bow to lust every time lust comes about. Bow to a sexual urge every time it comes about. Your spirit is now dominating every aspect of your life. And that increases your value as a human being. It's not even just as a man. If a woman's practicing celibacy, if a woman's reading her word, if, it, if a woman's doing the things that God's calling her to do, she is a high value woman. She is someone that you will start to see as attractive and another man will overlook that. They're going to the, the, the low value stuff, the trash, right? So you get a full perspective change when you're on this nofab journey, man. You know, it, the lust of the flesh is death, man. And you, when you realize that, like, when you truly get the, the knowing of, like, tomorrow is not promised, tomorrow is a gift, I could die in my sin and possibly go to hell, you know, you start feeling these things, this is conviction of the Holy Spirit, you really, 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 really start moving different out here, man. And it's all for the betterment of your own good, your soul. Everything else is temporary, right? The looks, the pleasure, the cars, the clothes, all of it is temporary, man. Now, it's nice to have nice things in this life and enjoy life and have a blessed life, 100%. But it's so much deeper than that, you know? And semen retention is going to skyrocket you to having that knowing and understanding. Like, every time the, the, the temptations come and the urges come, you realize, like, is that really worth risking everything I've worked so hard to do? Everything I've risked, you know, is that really, is it really worth it? It's not. You know, you're going to get stronger and stronger and stronger. And it's not even you. The more you lean on God, he, he is strong in your weakness, right? So the more you're leaning on him when you feel weak, right? Because we are in the flesh. You, you might have days where you feel weak. You, you, you get an urge here, a temptation there. When you lean on God, you become so strong. You start dominating lust in every area of your life. You know, and this includes, you know, lusting after women with your eyes, looking at the modern women online, the websites. Most modern women out here just dress like they're in their house um, out in public. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of them just don't cover up properly. Um, it's getting worse and worse, and it's, it's causing a lot of men to be led astray, man. A lot of men are becoming um, submissive to you know what, what they got in between their legs out here man and it controls everything in their life you know god is not called for men to be moving like this out here y'all you know you you gotta just focus on the most high you know you gotta understand that there's levels to this you unlock new levels right and there will be new devils that come along with new levels but you gotta understand 
for people who are first coming across NoFap and semen retention and just hearing these terms and stuff like that, it's not some new practice. This has been going on um, since the Bible was written. Jesus practiced semen retention. It's just, you know, a coined term now. It's really from the Bible. Most stuff that you see nowadays is from the Bible. Like I said in some of my other videos, they just take Christ out of it. They take Christ out of it. And they, and they apply it and they make money on it or they whatever, you know what I'm saying? That's how the world's been doing it for a long time. The darkness, the kingdom of darkness has been taking laws and principles from the Bible, such as consistency, you know what I'm saying? Other things and applying it to worldly things for the longest time. So semen retention and NoFap, when you're first coming across this stuff, man, you got to understand you're not going to have all these amazing benefits right off the rip. But the more you lean on God, the more you dive into his word while you're on this. That's what's going to propel you. It's going to give you the Holy Ghost. It's going to give you the gift of discernment. It's going to give you all these super powers, right? Because they are superpowers. If you are a man that can control your urges and temptations in 2022, you better believe and view that as a superpower. The 1%. Right now, I believe maybe 2% at most of men are practicing nofap and semen retention and making it a lifestyle and a habit until they receive their wife. And then when they do receive their wife, they're still on nofap. The only time they're ever releasing a seed is having intercourse with their wife, which God approves of to procreate. So you got to understand 98% of the world out here ain't doing this stuff. So yes, this is superpower. And you're going to unlock more and more and more and more. And one of them, another superpower, is being able to see through a modern woman. That same woman that you would have lusted over, you would have fell into her trap. You would have had a soul tie with her. You know what I'm saying? You would have created um, a bond that God did not want you to create. Now you're able, before you even speak a word to that person, you're able to discern it and go the other way. That's a superpower. You know what I'm saying? A lot of men cannot do that. They're not thinking with this, which is logic. They're thinking with that down there. And it's controlling everything they do. You know, and it's the sad truth. But you're gonna get a you're gonna get the full 360, right? Everything's gonna change for you when you get on this no there's no fab semen retention. Everything, your whole outlook, everything the world tries to promote, you're gonna you're gonna do the opposite of it, man. And it's gonna be natural. You're gonna start doing it naturally. You're not gonna even have to try to force yourself to. Now, in the beginning, when you first repent, when you first, you know, um, start denying yourself and denying your flesh and, and laying down your sin, it's gonna be a battle, of course. But there's gonna come a point where it's just, it's just, it's natural. You know, I serve the Most High God. I know who I am. I know who God's called me to be. I know the way I gotta live. I know the way I gotta move out here. And it's all for the betterment of my good and my soul. And it's to be an example and a light unto others. So your life, you know what I'm saying, can glorify God and teach somebody and be an example. You set the example as the chosen one, as someone practicing no fat. If you get in a friend group and you out here and you tell them, bro, have you ever thought about how broken she really is inside? You know, a lot of people don't even think that deep. They don't want to think like that. They don't see the spiritual realm. That's what it is. They don't understand how real the spiritual realm is and how real soul ties are and how real demonic spirits and demonic strongholds are and how badly it can affect your life you know but you got to just focus on the most high focus on retaining out here man this this video is you know just some knowledge we just chopping it up call it motivation you know what i mean i appreciate all the love and support as always smash that like button down below it takes two seconds family i really appreciate it if you haven't joined the family, I do messages like this all week long to help you out. I touch on many, many different topics, not just semen retention and no fat, but that's one that I'll always speak on because there's so much power in it and not a lot of people know about it and not a lot, not enough people are doing it. You know, we trying to bring the kingdom back to earth and the way we do that as men is becoming men, right? We don't have men out here anymore. We have beta males. We got men that are not, um, lining up with the word of god they're not lining up with you know the way god created man to be say a prayer for your brothers out here say a prayer for your sisters say a prayer for yourself justice league family we still out here on superhero status say it every time i'm gonna say it every time because we setting the captives free one video and one message at a time man i love you guys i thank you guys and until next time it's your boy king justice